my my mother and uh, father met at a a barn dance, and uh, I I don't know if it was love at first sight, but my mother was said she was very drawn to him, and and uh, so they married when she was fifteen and he was sixteen, and uh, they'd had their license for oh several months before they actually got married, and uh, maybe my father tells the story where when they got married the the minister charged them. I don't, I don't know the exact figure, but it was five dollars, something like that. And then he turned around and gave them three dollars back as a wedding gift because he could tell they they were going to need it. And um, so they were married, and and they went with a circus. My mother had never even been out of the county, uh, uh, and the first night they stayed in like a pup tent, and they stayed on the edge of a, a game farm. And she heard these lions growling and train going by, and she'd never experienced any of that. And also, she ended up with um, uh, chicken pox on her on on her wedding night. But I'm sure it was uh, you know a very frightening thing for a young girl to be in a pup tent listening to lions and having chicken pox. But uh, they went on and and they worked for a circus. They would. Um, she learned to perform, and she loved it. And you know, it, when I came along, it was twelve years later. I, and I, like I said, I'm an only child, so they were they were married twelve years before I was born. And uh, but you know, she loved the circus as much as my dad did, and really devoted her life to the circus. And it was his passion, but it grew to be hers. And uh, she uh, she she was a wonderful woman. She really was. Well, how did your family come to Hugo? Uh, my family came to Hugo in 1941, and in traveling uh, around the country, there are people in every area of the country that are, are circus fans. They love the circus. They'll go to any circus that comes to the area. But in traveling, they met a man named Vernon Pratt, who was an influential businessman here in Hugo. He owned the big grocery store. In fact, Pratt still have a grocery store in Shawnee, Oklahoma. So they, it was um, a very prominent family. But he loved the circus, and he met my parents and my uncle and my grandfather, and they became fast friends. And so he, um, my parents had already left uh, Kansas. They moved south gradually, looking for a warmer climate as they acquired more animals and uh, uh, they looking for a place for the winters wouldn't be quite as severe as Kansas. So they moved first uh, over to uh, Springfield, Missouri, and then they moved to Joplin, Missouri. Then they came down to uh, Mena, Arkansas. And then Mr. Pratt talked them into coming to Hugo uh, with uh, uh, promise of free water for the animals. So um, for life, you know, that was one of the big draws that, to come to Hugo. So they did come to Hugo. And um, by that time, they had one elephant, and my mother and father lived in the truck, uh, in the front one part of the truck with the elephant, and the elephant lived in the back part. And uh, they parked up as you're going out of town. Uh, if you go through town and on the way to Paris, Texas, there's a corner down there. Um, you know, when you live in a town, you don't always remember the names of the streets. But uh, it's still in town, but on the way out towards Paris, there was um, a building there. And I don't know if Mr. Pratt owned it or what, but he let them park there the first winter. So my, the first winter in Hugo, my mom and dad uh, lived in the truck with the elephant. And um, the rest of the equipment, I guess they parked there so they would have... Um, maybe lights or something for the elephant. I don't know why they got to park by this building, but every the other people were parked out at what they call the poor farm. And again, I as a child, you hear this, but I never said, well, Mom, what was the poor farm? You know, I just... But it was a piece of property out there where they let them park. And um, then they bought the uh, farm across the street from where we're sitting today. It was a, an established farm, and they bought the acreage. And um, my uh, grandfather moved into the little house on the on the property and uh, the elephant got a barn and so my mother always joked said that the elephant had a house before she did because uh, she was living still living in a what we would call an RV now but back then it was a uh, very crude type uh, a mobile home and so uh, they uh, they 
we're very fortunate to, to find this community because the community has always opened us, uh, opened their arms up to us, and, and we've always felt home at home here. We didn't always get free water. We pay for our water now. <laughs> but, uh, 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 you know, it's always been a good town. It, it, I was born in 46, so they actually came here before I was born. And the only reason I was born in Kansas was because I was born in the summertime and the circus was touring. So my mother went back to Kansas to, to have me. And then I returned to the circus when I was uh, two weeks old. So that's how we got to Hugo. And we've been here ever since. Uh, Uh, my earliest circus memory, I wish I was one of those people that could remember the day they were born, but I can't. And sometimes I don't know if I'm really remembering what happened or if I'm remembering the stories that were told about what happened. But really my earliest memories are of riding the pony in the, in the we call it a spec. It's short for spectacular, but it's really the parade that happens during the performance of the circus. And I remember riding the pony uh, in, in the under the tent in the in the circus and I had a little a gold cocker spaniel named Goldie that's original and uh, Goldie used to follow me everywhere and so when I was about um, five years old I learned to do a little it's uh, called swinging ladder and it's the first thing that all the little girls in the circus learn to do and it's basically looks like a, a trellis ladder but it's hung and it has a little loop on it and you swing back and forth and uh, do little poses on it. And my mother was the swinger, and my little dog used to come in the ring with us and watch me go back and forth. But you know, it was a it was a wonderful life. And looking back now, I realize how magical it was. But as a child, you take your surroundings for granted. I mean, I it was a wonderful playground, and you got to travel everywhere and be applauded for you know, doing a silly little trick with your dog watching you in the center ring. And and um, it was a great life. I got to be around the animals and, uh, um, you know, I traveled with my mother and father, my grandfather, my uncle, my aunt. And my uncle and aunt had a, a daughter, also an only child, and her name was Karen. She was eight years old, older than me, and so I always looked up to her. And uh, so it was a it was a magical life. The circus is a... You know, maybe some people wouldn't think so, but the circus is a wonderful place to raise a child. It's a really protective community, and uh, uh, everyone's always watching out for the kids. And um, but yet, you have this freedom to to run across the lot. And you know, there's the horses and the elephants, but there's always a set of eyes watching you, and and uh, very protective of the children. And um, we got to travel. I've been everywhere in the United States and seen. Probably not every park, but I've been to the majority of the national parks and the wonderful cities of, of the United States. And then, But then you'd come back to little Hugo in southeastern Oklahoma and you had roots. And that was the great part of my particular um, life in the circus because I, had the, I always felt the best of both worlds. I had the roots and the community of Hugo. But yet I had this opportunity to travel and do all these exciting things. Some circus children don't have uh, the opportunities I had because I went to the same school system all my life and uh, until I graduated and went on to university. And so some some children don't have that that chance that I had um, in in circus business. Their parents are uh, artists, performers that travel from circus to circus, and they don't have that route. But uh, as you talk to circus people in Hugo, I believe that anyone that uh, traveled with the circuses in Hugo felt that sense of having a home because they were always welcomed back to Hugo and felt a part of the community. They didn't feel like the outsider or the weird circus person or, you know, they, they were... The children didn't make fun of them because of their parents' op occupation or because they, you know, traveled and didn't have, maybe their home was only on wheels. But uh, the children here were accustomed to that, so they didn't make fun of them. So I think Hugo's been, been good for a circus.